of John Deere. Do you know what, what kind of John Deere is? Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. This is 1956. 55. 55. So, this is the tractor she's going to drive today. So I usually get up on this side. It doesn't really matter. I just find it a little easier because there's only one pedal on this side. Yeah. Whatever you're more comfortable with. Five nine. Just careful because it can be slippery. <laughs> oh, that's very hot. Right? You'll have to excuse the sound here. My camera wasn't working properly. What I'm pointing to is the lever that engages and disengages the PTO. The PTO can be found at the back here, and that's for other attachments, which we won't be using today. This is the gear shifter, gear lever, or some people call it the selector rod because it selects which gear you're uh, engaging in the transfer case. So you move the selector rod into the gear that you'd like to take off in. And I'm right now I'm trying to convince her to start off in second gear. First gear is very, very, very slow. Um, second gear is much more manageable and it's, uh, it's pretty slow with a low throttle. This is her first time driving the tractor, so she won't be changing gears. She's just going to stay in second gear. And right now we're just going over the basics, but we're also going through safety procedures. And I'm informing her that the clutch is her best friend. This is her clutch that her left foot is on. And I'm explaining how that works when it's engaged versus disengaged and why it's important to disengage slowly. These are your brakes. There's one brake per wheel and they're only brakes for the back wheel. So this will be your left brake okay. and this will be your right brake. They're depressed right now because they're on yes. um, and the parking brakes are, are engaged. And is it for the big back tires? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, the fronts have no brakes. The front tires have no brakes. Um, so if you want to make a really sharp turn, you can turn and hit whatever brake you want to, you know what I mean? And then it'll kind of like almost do a donut like it's been right now. Um, especially in the winter time. The biggest thing is when you're driving this, to remember if you start to panic or whatever, I don't think you will, um, but if you start to panic, um, your clutch is your best friend. So clutch in and then brakes, clutch brakes, clutch brakes. Okay. Clutch first and then brakes. Yep. So if you if you panic and you're freaking out, just hit the hit the clutch, hit the brakes, and then uh, so this is your throttle. So this is like how fast you go in whatever gear you're in. Mm -hmm. So if it's all the way down, you're full throttle. Oh, that's why if I see you. Yeah, exactly. So if you're, this is like your gas pedal, right? Okay. So if it's all the way up, that's as slow as you're going to go. Okay. Yep. I want to go as slow. Yeah. So if you start panicking or you start freaking out, clutch, brakes. I have to hit the clutch and before it, I hit it, the brake? Uh, it's better. Okay. Because otherwise you're just going to, depending on what gear you're in and that kind of stuff, you might keep going. Okay. It'll just keep, pull, it'll just. Like drag it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll But, uh, yeah, clutch. If you put the clutch in and you're on a flat area, you you don't even need the brake. It'll eventually come to a stop. I'm just thinking about this hill. I'm yes. Gonna I'm going to get to the hill in a second. Okay. Um, and this is your throttle. Yeah. Um, I don't have to worry about this hill? No, I'm going to, I'll put that in gear that's for you because that's okay. complicated. Can I start in first? You can if you want. First is really slow. You will be fine. Okay. Exactly. Um, the biggest thing about the the hill is just because you're starting up, I would leave the throttle all the way up so mm -hmm. it's slow. Yeah, because the engine will help break me. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I was going to say is when you're going downhill, you hear the engine sound kind of weird and it'll feel like you're going a little bit faster. Just let it do its thing. Because it just does it like. 
Yeah. It's like a stamp. Exactly. Like you gear down and it like revs, but you're... Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so just let it, let it do its thing. Let it do its thing on the mm -hmm. way down the hill and just keep your throttle. But if you put the clutch in once the brakes are... Like your um, parking brakes are disengaged. Oh, wow. If you put the clutch in, it'll roll really fast down the hill. Oh, because then it'll gain momentum. Well, and there's nothing stopping it, right? Yeah. Because your your clutch is engaged. And there's no gear. Right. Yeah. So it's that's heavy. that's why I say if you ever panic, hit the clutch and then the brakes, it right? Takes it out of gear and, plus and then it stops. Gear. Yeah. Because this doesn't really matter if the clutch is in. If this could be all the way down, mm -hmm. if your clutch is in, it'll just be loud. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, you need a loud. Exactly. Long That's why I say if you start panicking, just put clutch, brake. Okay. It's like the other day I was driving my dad's car, like his brakes didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't the best brakes either, but it'll stop. You're well, not the going fast. The engine's not going to let me, like... Exactly. I don't have to be prepared. It's not that steep. Anymore. Yeah. So don't hit the, the clutch on the way down unless you're going to hit the brakes afterwards and come to a complete stop. Um, like it'll be slow enough for me to just turn. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm anticipating here, but it's like, Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh what do you do if you're panicking? Clutch brake. Do it. Clutch brake. Oh, brake. They're down, yeah. so I don't have to. Nice. Panic? Clutch brake! Nice. Good. Ah! That's what my dad taught me, and it worked like a charm. Good. Great. Um, you seemed like a panicker growing up, didn't you? No, it was good because I, I I tried it right off the hot. He got me to like go a tiny little bit and then okay, try let's it. Let's do that. Sure. Okay. And and then I was like, oh, okay, at least I can stop it. Right? So I don't have to use the gas stick. Nope. So normally you'd want to watch all your gauges as you're driving, but while we're just starting out, we won't worry about that quite yet. This is basically your ignition system. And to start it, you want to go one click. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to pull this out. Okay. Unless it's super cold, you might need a little choke. So this is your choke. That's the choke. So you can pull the choke out and then start it. If you want your lights, it's one more click. I don't know if, they, okay. I don't know if you can see them. The I've seen them. So put your clutch in. I have to have the clutch in for this? Yeah. What happens if I roll? My brakes huh? are on. What? My brakes are on. Yeah. So put the clutch in. Put your foot on the brakes just to get in the habit. Mm-hmm. And then one click. And then we're going to pull this guy out. <laughs> so keep that in. Uh-huh. And then shut it off. You just turn this back. And then keep your foot in the clutch until it comes to a complete stop. Now you can move that. The, the gear stick, it'll show you right here, just in case I'm ever not here. It's kind of weird. So one is in the middle, two is off to your left, three is off to your right, and I think four, I can't remember, so four is, right here. yeah, four is off, is it? I think so. No, that's reversed. So four is off to oh, your right on the bottom. And yep. then reverse is off to your left on the bottom. I don't know so, <laughs> yeah, if you want to bring it up to the shop and then just clutch and brake and then shut wait it down and wait for it to stop, <laughs> that's fine. Um, but you put it into gear and then, uh -huh. so you just let it go slowly and then it'll it'll go. Way easier than driving a standard bike. Okay. This is way easier. Can't be so <laughs> Um, and you don't have to do it if you don't want. I want to try. So. I just wish I was down there. <laughs> going uphill. <laughs> well, you can. I can put you down there, but it's fine. You'll be okay. Because what happens if you start panicking? Clutch and brake. Yeah. Both brakes, not just one. Clutch and brake, and then just wait for me to come. Mm -hmm. That's all you gotta do. And the engine won't let me go that fast. No. So it'll feel like it's, it'll start sounding weird, and it'll feel like it's going a little bit faster, but you're not going to go fast. Yeah. Yeah. So much. Yeah. It's just because um, it's big. And yeah. Like, what happens when I fall off? You're going to fall off. Um, I think that's all you need to know. Because you're in second now, you should be. Um, so, fire up. 
And just remember your clutch is your best friend. If nothing else, put the clutch in, hit the brakes, and just wait. Take a deep breath, figure out what's going on. So my clutch is in? Yep. One click? Yep. And then just pull it like an alternator? Yep. But your, is your brake on? Just get in the habit of hitting the brakes. They're in. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now pull it. Yep. Pull it right in. You did. Good job. Okay, okay. So, can I keep your clutch in? Okay. This is touch your throttle, right? So play with it, get a feel for it. Okay, so now keep your foot on both brakes. They're, they're on both brakes, right? Yeah. Okay, so these are your parking brakes. So I'm going to pull them up. Okay, I felt it. Yeah. So normally, once you get used to it, you can just give it a kick with your heel. But I'll do it for you for now. And then, uh, what happens if you panic? Yep, what you're doing right now, right? It's just what you're doing right now. Is the tractor going anywhere right now? That's okay. That's okay. Um, so the clutch and brake are on and the tractor's not going anywhere, right? So you know it works, right? Clutch and brake. So, if you let go of the brakes, I don't know if it'll go anywhere or not. Yeah, so you're relatively flat right now, so it's not going anywhere. So, when you're ready, try a little bit and then push the, the clutch back in and hit the brake, okay? So let the clutch out just easy until you get the feel for it. Because if you let it out really jerky, like if you let it go, it'll, it'll pop up on you. Clutch and brake. See? Okay, okay. You got it? <laughs> How did that feel? Okay. okay, so the other thing. Huh? What? I, I can, yeah. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Just, okay, hold, hold it where you're at. Okay. Keep pressing the brakes. Mm -hmm. You're doing good, you're doing good. Thank you. Okay. Now you should be able to let go of both. I don't No, I deserve that much credit, but I, I get near I want the tires. Yeah. Well you drove the you drove the tractor. <laughs> really? really? Yeah, and I just need to get used to your brakes. Yeah. Because it feels like it's not in and then I have to like actually push quite hard. So right here we're actually discussing <laughs> our choice on footwear. Uh, we're both wearing sandals. The difference is that I've driven this tractor many times and she's never driven a tractor before and she did it with sandals on which is very impressive. Although I do highly recommend better footwear. Yeah just remember that it's not when you have the clutch in she ain't going anywhere. As long as you have the clutch in, mm -hmm. like it'll roll downhill. And if you're going downhill, yeah, it'll roll downhill. Yeah. Um, but like when you're going up here. And that's what was making me nervous. Like if I got nervous coming to the bottom of this hill and then it was rolling and it had momentum, and yeah. then I wouldn't be able to stop it right. Yeah. So if, it, if it's going downhill and you're off, you can, as long as you're in gear, you can let the clutch it. Do you know what I mean? That gets coming. Yeah, I think you did. Because okay. <laughs> should wouldn't the gear make it want to go? If it's on. That's why I said if it's on. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So, like, right now I'm rolling. But it's off right now. So, as soon as I let it touch it. It needs gas to gear. propel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sense? I think so, yeah. That's why like, I, I understand on, in... when it's on, it 
So like, let's say you're, I don't know, you, you panic halfway up, and you feel like the brakes aren't working, which they do. If you're so panicking, they're just different. They might feel like you're on the brakes and you're not on them or something. Yeah. And you start rolling back downhill. It's fine as long as you don't, as long as you don't do this, because then it'll take off. Mhm. Mm and you can put. And, but like, if you start rolling downhill, if you just slowly let this out. Mm -hmm. It'll automatically kind of find that sweet spot, and it'll want to start going again, and it'll catch itself. Like hold there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not as worried about going backwards as I am starting on a hill. Yeah. For my first time. Yes. And if you get to the, the hill spot up there, then you go, nope, I'm good on the flat spot. I want to stop, clutch, break. break. Wait and for Terry. Once you get there, you can push this back up. <laughs> and just wait. Okay. Do clutch and brake, and just wait for me. I'll oh, actually, uh, I'll go down and I'll go up and get the four wheeler first. God, you're hot. Clutch, clutch and brake. Clutch, brake, and if you're really stuck, you know how to shut it off. Yeah, like if you're clutching and braking and you're waiting for me and I'm off. having a heart attack or something. Yeah, just to show you. Right? Clutch. Okay. I don't think my foot's big enough. I need to work with Well, you're trying to do it in sandals, which is very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> it is. Okay, clutch brake. One click. Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, all your, um, your, Parking brake or off? off? Yeah, they went down. So yeah. Pull, pull her up. The starter stick. There you go. So and then remember, just you clutch is your best friend, so you want to treat it nicely. And I have to go in second gear. You're in second gear right okay. now. So you saw how slow I was going, right? So second gear. Okay. You'll be fine. Once you get like once you let it out and you get to about where Tika is, you're gonna be like, oh this is slow. Okay. And I can take my foot off the brake and then my foot off the clutch? Yeah, if you take your foot off the brake right now, it shouldn't go anywhere. Because right now you're level, right? You're flat. Yeah. Okay. So when you get up to the hill on the other side, if you wanna stop, that's totally fine.
got it. You got it. You're doing it. Are you coming? Yeah, you want me to? I'm just trying to get. Give me some throttle. So just practice with your clutch and brake. That's all there is to it. Okay. Okay. Try going down. Okay. Yeah, and your clutch is in. Unfortunately, the camera shut off, but she made it down to the barn doors, and we went and grabbed the four-wheeler, and now we're just taking the scenic route back up to the barn so that we can put the tractor into the barn, which you'll love watching her do. So proud of her. I know she was really intimidated, but she's also been saying that she wanted to learn how to drive it since we purchased it. Look at that smile. So she finally did it, and she did a really great job. Okay. What do you do if you panic? Clutch and brake. Yep. Shake and bake. Huh? Yeah, so just be careful of your clutch. Once you get close, you can put the clutch in so it, it like comes to a stop and then let the clutch out again slowly. Just go as slow as you want. Or as fast as you want. Because you're a pro. That's okay. Get a feel for it. That a girl. That a girl. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Good job. Do you want to? Do you want to park it? No. Okay. So now I'm gonna. I'll put it in just because you're not used to it. Yep. So keep your both feet on what you got. That's okay, that's okay. Your clutch is in. Yeah. So right now you're in neutral. Okay. So just let your clutch out slowly in case you're not, but you should be. And now you're fairly level ground, so you should be able to let go of the brake. Yeah. And then just hop off, but don't, don't bump anything on the way. So here, just telling her that she did a great job, giving her a high five, telling her how proud I am of her, and I'm going to jump on and park it for her. I'll watch the pro!